we had a great night, the Zimbabwe night, and um, you know we all that's where we it kind of felt like we were a whole team then you know we were all working together uh, in close proximity you know um, and it, it was really cool to have that um, have that night instead of just having that day you know where it was sort of just us lads doing the run and then the girls were back home I was quite happy that we did the Zimbabwe night because we all got to work together and, and sort of be together for a night so that was cool you know really enjoyed that I wanted to get a picture of T um, running on Tower Bridge or getting a picture of T in front of one of the towers. And uh, it started raining the minute we got out of the car, but we quickly sort of got to the got to the bridge ready, ready and waiting. Um, 
and I didn't have a tripod on me because I thought that if it's going to chuck it down I need to get my camera basically under my t-shirt to keep it uh, dry because I had another 10 hours or later discovered 20 hours to go during the day and uh, you know I needed I need my camera to work but anyway yeah Nick and uh, Phil were, were to cycle alongside T throughout um, London and uh, so they started off with him as well and what made me laugh is that even though they were on bikes um, they they weren't going as fast as, as T. Um, T started off on a very fast pace and uh, I was quite surprised really um, as there I was on, on the bridge ready to take the photo and they came along and I got one photo of, of Nick that was almost in focus, one photo of Phil that was almost in focus. But T was just a constant blur as he went by, you know, and it kind of really represented um, how fast he was going when he first started. But that was that was my worst moment because um, even though I got a photo that kind of that, that worked and kind of represented that he, T was going a bit too fast to begin with, um, I... Uh, I didn't get the photo I wanted, you know, I wanted to get T in front of one of the towers, nice sharp picture, um, but I didn't get it, so that that was my only worst moment. But there's nothing to grumble about, I got plenty of other moments throughout the day, so... What do you want, man? If we would ever take a wrong turning or get lost, it was going to be in London. It wasn't going to be anywhere else. We're looking. For, we're parked outside the Sydney World. Oh, there's a travel lodge, and we're, we're in a layby outside the travel lodge. But there's not a lot of pavement around here. No, no. Okay, okay, cool. No, hang on, size coming back, isn't it? Yeah, they went. They go left when they should. Right, Listen, there's a fun thing. I said to Nick. Nick, he said to me, "Okay, let me go and check where we are. Don't worry, everything's in control." So I'm asking Phil. I said, "Phil, uh, are you okay? Do you know where you're going?" Phil said, "I don't know." You know? <laughs> then he said, "I don't know." Then I'm just. He doesn't know where you're going. What do we are? I think that wrong turn in London, yeah. um, psychologically, just put, put it, knocked us back quite a bit. Mm. Um, because he was running, Phil, Phil was keeping track of his average speed, and his average speed halved once we got lost. And his speed never picked up again after that. I think that was a bit of a step back for T uh, mentally, um, like like Nick um, said it was um, at the time. Nick um, T was actually ahead of his checkpoint times, um, uh, and then taking that wrong turn actually meant that he was actually just dead on the times. But I think if he was, you know, ahead of the times, it would have it would have made a bit of a difference. He was on schedule to get to the first checkpoint in an hour and a half, and we were doing ten mile checkpoints. So he was way ahead of schedule, and that wrong turn, we lost half an hour, and he got to the checkpoint on time, uh, which, which was, you know, in the grand scheme of things, nothing to worry about, but I think psychologically for him and for all of us, if he'd have got there ahead of time, then I think he'd have pushed on from there. But he was running uh, about six miles, six and a half, seven miles an hour uh, through that first, first checkpoint until we got lost and it dropped down to about three and a half, four. And we only got lost for about half a mile and then we had to obviously do half a mile back. But it, I, I personally think there was just enough for us to go, oh, we've gone wrong already. Yeah, he's got, 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 he's got
Head and see the best way to tackle that roundabout. Yeah. So, you want a quick drink or not? No, there's a little bit of sugar. There's a 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 s